Uh, my name is Thomas. This is Low Impact Strength Core and Stability. This is a full body workout. Uh, we will use some resistance, some weights. If you have some, if you don't, improvise with some soup cans, some books, some heavy shoes, something to add some resistance, some kind of challenge to some of the exercises we'll be doing. Uh, this is a class usually taught at Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness on Saturday, 7.30. Also Mondays at 4 o'clock. So welcome. Again, my name is Thomas, certified personal trainer and group fitness instructor. Um, again, full body workout. We will be working on exercises to improve posture, uh, in, um, strengthen inactive muscles, glutes, uh, hip, uh, some hip muscles, uh, core muscles. So uh, very important to uh, work on those muscle imbalances. A lot of times we sit and relax a lot, especially during these tough times we're gonna be uh, relaxing maybe too much so these muscles become inactive. So this class is uh, kind of designed to improve those in muscle imbalances and strengthen those uh, weak inactive muscles. So again, full body workout, it is low impact. You will need some resistance, some light hand weights or some you know soup cans, some rocks, you know, be creative. Uh, flower bags, whatever, uh, box of beer, box of uh, seltzer, you know, tape it up. That can be used as resistance for the handle. Laundry detergent bottles, uh, empty milk jugs, you know, those kinds of things, water bottles. So be creative. Use what you can. I know some of the stores are out of the weights, so, you know, resistance bands work great too. If you can't find resistance bands, you can use maybe some old yoga pants, some old stretchy workout shirts. Those can, uh, those can help. So, you know, be creative. Do what you can. Stay active, stay moving. It's very important uh, during these tough times to be active, stay healthy, uh, especially in mental state. You know, it's going to help. Um, exercise is going to help kick out the endorphins, so that's going to help. So, do what you can to keep moving, stay active, be healthy. Uh, real quick, I have a letter from the studio. If you guys have been watching, uh, you guys have seen the great job Rachel has been doing with the studio and the other instructors. You know, kudos to all of them for you know putting in the time and bringing you these classes very grateful and honored to be doing this so um real quick letter from the studio we offer these classes free of charge as a gift to our community during these tough challenging times while donations are not expected or required we very much appreciate any contribution you like to make to help to support our teachers and our studio to make a donation please visit support bydf.com Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for following on this virtual journey and being such a wonderful, loving, supportive community. We are in this together and we are here for you. So thank you very much. Uh, again, very humbled and honored to be here to give you the, this class, give you some opportunity to uh, get some strength and some fitness. So good morning to everybody. Good morning, Donna. Thank you for watching uh, and everybody else. I miss you guys. I can't wait to get back in the studio. Um, you know, I'm sure We'll get there at some point. Just be patient and uh, you know do what you can to take care of yourself. So again, welcome. My name is Thomas. This is Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness, Low Impact Strength Core and Stability. This is a full body workout. It is a low impact workout, so we're not gonna be running around, jumping around. You're gonna need some, uh, some light hand weights, a chair if you have balance or stability issues, uh, some floor space, and I think that's about it. We'll get started with some dynamic warm ups just to get the heart rate up. Warm up the muscles, loosen up the joints. So we will start with some dynamic warm ups. We'll go through some, some set of exercises. We have a timer set, 45, 40 second work, 15 second transition or break, and then we'll just keep moving. And then we'll finish the class with some static stretching. You know, all these things that I think are gonna be beneficial to you guys, especially during these times where we're sitting and relaxing a lot. We wanna get up and be moving and get those muscles active. So we'll get started, get the music on. Hope you guys are doing well. Happy Saturday or whenever you're watching this. So we'll start with some dynamic warm-ups. Need to get started. So feet go to standard position, feet hip width apart. We're just gonna start with some twists, twists in the hips, just arm flaps. We'll go for 35 seconds. There we go. Just gonna loosen up, start off nice and easy, you know, just getting up, just waking up. That core engage. You want to suck that belly into the spine. Contract those abs 30%. Just twist those hips, rotate those arms. Open up that chest. Waking up that thoracic spine. Breathe. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Good 
seconds. Here, start arms straight out, rotate open. Put one arm all straight. Keep the feet pointed forward. Soft bend in the knees. Inhale, exhale. Core is engaged. Just gonna wake up a little bit, get that blood flowing. Warm up the body, warm up the muscles, increase that heart rate. Get us ready for some exercises. Couple seconds. From here, open up a little wider, arms straight out. Reach down, touch your toe, engage at the hips. Try to keep that flat back. Press into the heels. Keep a straight line head and tail. Soft bend the knees. Inhale. Exhale. Core is engaged. Always. 10 seconds. Do what feels good. If you find a movement or exercise that doesn't feel good, don't do it. Bring your hands together. Squat. So we're going to keep that butt back first. Press up. Squeeze the glutes. Keeping that core engaged. So inhale. Exhale. Squeeze the glutes. Reach over. Other side. Back down, keep an eye on the knees. Make sure to track it over that second toe. Toe is pointing forward. Ten seconds. Make sure those knees don't come over the toes. But you want to sit that butt back. A couple seconds. From here, forward lunges. Feet get width apart. Step out nice and easy. And then back again. You want to step out nice and easy. Working our way out, a little farther and a little lower. Lead with your chest, core is engaged. And as you warm up, step out a little farther. Drop down a little lower. Again, keep an eye on your knee. Make sure the tracking is over that second toe. Toes are pointing forward. Head up, chest up. Five seconds. Last one. Shake it out from here, out to the side, side lunge again. Nice and easy to start with. Reach it over to that toe, keeping that core engaged. As you warm up, step out a little farther, drop down a little lower. We're just warming up, some dynamic movements, getting that body ready for exercise. Step out a little farther, drop down a little lower. Three, smile. Saturday, you're working out. Three, two, one. Shake it out from here. Do some uh, butt kicks, arm flaps. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. So get those heels up. Squeeze those shoulder blades back. And breathe. 20 seconds. Thank you for joining me. Hope you guys are doing well. Hanging in there. Take care of yourselves. Exercise is going to help release some en energy, some tension, stress. Five seconds. From here, high knees, arm swings. So, just working on that range of motion. Breathe, force engage, smile. Lunch for breakfast. 15 seconds. Anybody eat breakfast yet? Coffee? Five seconds. Hope you guys are uh, developing some kind of healthy routine. Take it out. From here, straight leg kick. So reach over opposite, opposite hand. So reach up, shuffle. Reach it over. Again, try to keep that upper half up straight. Upright, towards the gauge. Hinge it at the hip, so we're lifting that leg straight up. We're not reaching for that foot. We're not bending down. We're staying upright. Keeping that leg up, reaching as far as you can. Five seconds, working on that hamstring extension. From here, high knee up. Open and down, so just hip openers. Shuffle, up. Out, down, shuffle. Up, out, down. Towards the gaze, we're breathing. We're just warming up. A couple more, and we'll get started. 
Maybe some free weights or some hand weights, some, some kind of resistance. Got a chair if you need one for balance and stability. Some floor space, a drink, a towel for sweat. Couple seconds. Last one. Take it out. Now we're going to angle 45, outside leg up and over. So we're stepping over that baby gate. Shuffle, out, in. Shuffle, out, over. If you have a, a dog that's laying on the ground or something, you got to step over, so up and over. Loosen up those hip joints. Hips come tight. A lot of steady we do, a lot of relaxing, laying down. Hips come tight, inactive, become cranky. So we're just going to loosen them up a little bit. A couple more. Out, over. Last one. Okay, shake it out. From here, side taps, arm circles. Going to warm up those shoulder joints. Keep those feet moving, keep the heart rate up, and breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth. A little bigger. All the way open. Switch. Backwards. Nice and small. Feet taps. Breathe. Ten seconds. Smile. Three, two, one. Shake it out. One more. Let's do hands behind the head. We're going to hinge the hips again. Good morning. Get up. Keep that back flat. So, into the hips. Keep that soft bend in the knees. Press it into the ground up and squeeze those glutes. Keep that core engaged. 15 seconds. Into the nose, out of the mouth. 10 seconds. Again, if you feel any pain or discomfort, please stop. Listen to your body. Take a break whenever you need it. Last one, shake it out. Nice. So that's our dynamic warm-ups. We're going to move on to our first exercise. We're going to come down to the mat. We're going to do some blue bridges. So we're going to go three rounds, 40 seconds. Again, um, 15 second break for transition in the, in the, in the middle. So uh, floor space. You can see me okay. So we're going to come down to our backs. We're going to keep our feet hip width apart. Try to bring those feet, uh, ankle underneath the knees. We're going to find a neutral pelvis first. So we're going to rock that pelvis until you find that flat back. Once you find that flat back, engage your core, press into your heels up, rustle those hips forward, squeeze the loose, hold it for two, exhale down, flat back. So you can keep your arms at 45, palms facing down. Or you can bring your arms in, nice and tight to your ribs, palms facing each other. Give your elbows and press it to the ground. Up, squeeze those pulls, exhale down. Here we go, three rounds. Make sure we're squeezing as hard as we can. Here we go. Inhale up, squeeze, exhale down. Three rounds, let's go. And breathe. Feet are hip width apart. Core is engaged. Neutral pelvis, flat back. Breathe. Inhale up. Exhale down. Ten seconds. Squeeze hard as you can. Fire up those muscles. Here we go. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Bring those knees in. Give them a hug. A little rock side to side. 10 seconds, two more rounds. Here we go, drop our feet, hip width apart, ankle under the knees. Here we go, first press up, squeeze, exhale down, flat back. Squeeze, press those hips up all the way, exhale down. 
Exhale down. Make sure we're squeezing for two. Firing up those glutes. Core is engaged, flat back. Press it into those heels up. 15 seconds. Breathe. Squeeze. Couple seconds. Nice, shake it out. Next. Wall sets. So if you have a wall or a door you can use, great. Uh, if not, then you should hold a, a, a squat. So for a squat hold, you're going to feet are hip width apart. Make sure your knees are uh, toe to 24. You want to track your knees over that second toe. So you want to sit that butt back first. You have your hands prepared. You have your hands on your hips. We're just going to hold here. Keep an eye on your knees. Head up, chest up. We're just going to hold it here. Three rounds, 40 seconds. If you're on the wall, you want to make sure your back is flat against the wall. Bring your feet out. Again, hip width apart. Slide down. Flat back against the wall. Try to get your legs to 90. Engage that core. To get out, you want to hinge forward. Press it off the back of the wall. Uh, and walk out of it. We're going to go three rounds. Anytime you need to come out of it, come out of it. Take a break anytime you need it. So three rounds. You're holding the squat hold. Head up, chest up. Here we go. We go. We're, we're down and we're working. 40 seconds. We got this. Again, legs are at 90. Backs up against the wall. We're breathing. Take a second to catch your breath. Again, anytime you need to come out, come out. Go to your happy place. Go to your happy place. The beach, in the woods hiking. 15 seconds. Me, usually involves food. Mainly tacos. So if I'm at a taco buffet, that's my happy place. You got five seconds. You got this. So again, if you're on the wall, you're going to hit forward, press your hands against it, push it away, coming out, shaking it out. You got 15 seconds. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Five. Get ready. Here we go. Position. Come down. You're holding the squat hold. Here, hold the squat hold with you. Head up, chest up. Again, knees forward, we're breathing, we're smiling, we're feeling the burn, we like the burn, it's our friend. Building strong leg muscles, keep that core engaged. 20 seconds, taco buffet, what's your favorite taco? Right now it's breakfast time, so nice breakfast taco. Just make bacon, eggs, and cheese, maybe a little home fries up in there. Five seconds. Freshly squeeze mimosas. Three, two, one. Press it to the ground. Out. Oh, shake it out. One more. We got this. Walk it out. Keep those feet moving. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Little side taps. Shake it out. If you want to do a couple of uh, quad pullbacks. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's work. Come down. We got this. Last one. Breathe. Back to the happy place. Hot sauce. Mild sauce. No sauce. What's your preference? I like mine a little spicy, but I like to enjoy it. Some Bloody Marys. Who has the best Bloody Marys in town? 20 seconds. I think when this is all over, we should go find out. 15 seconds. We got this. I feel the burn. We can do this. Happy place. You guys are walking the beach right now. The sun is rising. The seagulls are chirping. Five seconds. Dolphins are jumping. Three. Three. Two, one, press up. Oh yeah, shake it out. Woo. Walking around a little bit. We got this. Next, heel raises. So if you have some resistance, you want to grab some resistance, you can hold it up to your chest. It's going to raise those heels up, squeeze those calves, and then down. Here we go, we're working. Inhale up, exhale down. We're just raising those heels up. Squeeze those heels and then coming back down. Use the resistance, you can have two. You know, whatever you're using. Be here. You know, find what's comfortable for you. So your feet are hip width apart, raising those heels, squeezing those calves. And breathe. Take a second, catch your breath, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Inhale up, exhale down. Ten seconds. 
smile. You work it out. Three, two, one, shake it out. We have two more. Again, anytime you need a break, please take one. If you don't let, like an exercise, wait for the next one. Just keep moving. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Inhale up. Squeeze. Exhale down. You know, be creative. Use whatever you can for resistance. Add a challenge to it. Laundry detergent, you know. Get a couple of uh, cats you can hold up in each hand. Maybe a couple lap dogs. A couple cases of uh, your favorite seltzer. A couple bottles of wine, maybe. A couple boxes of wine, whatever you're using. A couple handles. 10 seconds. Grocery bags, you know, old choppy bags. You can fill those up with whatever. Find some resistance in it. Three, two, one. Shake it out. We have one more. Shake it out. Keep it moving. Keep that heart rate up. Eight seconds. Last one. So again, feet hip width apart. Toes are pointing forward. If you need a wall for a balance or a chair, use one. Up and squeeze. Find what works for you as long as you're moving. 30 seconds, come on. Up, squeeze. Core is engaged. 20 seconds. You guys thinking about your happy place? Let me know, where is it? Where is it? I need some ideas. 10 seconds. Yeah, feel the burn. Five seconds, breathe. Last one, up in the air, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, squeeze. Drop down, shake it out, drop the weight. Next. This one you might need your chair for it or a countertop, something that's close that you can use for an extra support. So the exercise is going to be a reverse lunge with a twist. So uh, if you have balance issues, if this is new to you guys, then uh, I'll start the, 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 uh, the basic uh, lunge hold. So you want to extend, left leg out first, drop down, if you hold the chair and you're here, uh, and you're holding a, a lunge. So the, the progression would be reverse lunge with a twist, and then back and forth, and then kick back up the center. So if you have a problem with the lunge, then you're staying here and you're adding the rotation in there. If your balance is good, if your balance isn't good, then you're just gonna hold here. So again, reverse lunge with a twist. And then back to center, push back. We're gonna alternate back and forth. Just kidding, we're gonna stay on the same side, then we'll switch. So if reverse lunge is too much for you, you're just gonna hold the static lunge. If you're feeling froggy, then you're gonna add your, your drop down and up. You want a little extra, then you're adding the rotation and up and then down. So that's the progression. Again, the chair's there just for balance, or the wall, or countertop, whatever you need for balance. So we're gonna stay on the same side and then we'll switch. We'll do two rounds each. So if you need some resistance, grab one. So again, feet are hip width apart, close the pointing forward, reverse lunge, with a twist. Here we go. Three, two, one. Reverse lunge, nice and stable and balanced. Rotate over that knee, that's up. Press back to center, stay on the same side. Head up, chest up. Back to center, staying on the same side. Again, if you have with balance issues, you're staying here, you're holding the lunge. If you can, you're adding that twist, and you're staying here, or you're, you're dropping down. As you drop down, then you add the rotation in there. And 10 seconds. Final one works for you, safely. Keep that core engaged. Shake it out, we'll switch sides. Breathe, as you know, out through your mouth, keep those feet moving, and then some side taps. So grab five seconds, get ready, grab your weight, feet are hip width apart, step back, lunge. Oh, other side. Get over that knee. Show your side view. Step back. Back to center. Head up, chest up, shoulders down and back, core's engaged. 
Again, if you have a problem with the rotation, you just need to stay here. If you have a problem with the step back, you're just going to stay here, hold static, launch. If you want a little extra, then you add a rotation in there. Do a little more, then you're coming down, and then over. So again, find what works for you. Three, two, one. Great, relax. Ten seconds. So we'll go one more each side. Here we go. Three, two, one. Step back, rotate, step to center, step up, squeeze the glutes. Working on some functional movement. Rotation, oh, watch your balance. Keeping that core engaged. We're working on a lunge, working on some rotation. Eight seconds. Last one. Nice. Check it out. One more. Okay, we're gonna come back down to the mat. Dead bugs. Breathe. Move your feet. Keep that core engaged always. Here we go. Feet hip width apart. Work. Head up, chest up, core's engaged. Smile. We're working. We're having fun. Build your strong, healthy bodies. Burning up some energy. Leaving some stress. Just got 20 seconds. You got this. Take a break if you need it. We're almost there. Five seconds. Last one. Nice. Shake it out. Woo. Dead bugs. Let's come down back to the mat. Pause it. We're going to come down to our backs. We're going to raise our arms and our legs. We're at 90 feet of flex. Shin are parallel to the mat. Knees are above our hips. So we're going to drop our right arm and left leg. Our right arm and right leg together. Left arm, opposite. Get back to center. So it's going to be left arm, left leg drop down. Right arm away from us. And then back to center. Keeping that flat back. So find that neutral pelvis. So you find that flat back, engage that core. Arms are up, legs are up. We're gonna go three rounds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's work. So right arm, right leg drop down together, left arm away from us, back to center. Keeping those feet flexed. Keeping those knees above the hips. Working on strengthening that core. Slow and control. We want quality, not quantity. Inhale, exhale, straight line, straight down, straight up, get slow to control, you start to arch your back as you bring your legs down, you're down too far, so maintain that flat back to the ground, three, two, one, relax, you want to give your knees a hug again, got 10 seconds, two more rounds, Breathe. Five seconds. Here we go. We're working. Inhale. Exhale. Flat back. Core is engaged. We're smiling. Think about that taco buffet. Fifteen seconds. Keep that flat back. Take a break if you need it. Need a break. Hug your knees in. Keep those feet flexed. Knees above the hips. Three, two, one. Relax. Breathe. We have one more. Ten seconds. Here we go. Three, two. Come on, let's work. Last one. Slow and control. Forward the gaze. 
flat back. 15 seconds. Push yourself. So we're waiting to get stronger. Smile, doesn't hurt as bad. Five seconds, come on. Two more. Last one. Nice. Woo. Roll it up. We're gonna come up to a kneeling lunge. To grab some resistance. It's gonna be a, uh, a kneeling wood chop. So come up to a kneeling lunge. We need a pad or a towel for your knees, grab one. So we're gonna start with the resistance on our side. So whatever you're doing for resistance, we're gonna hold it up to the side. We're gonna lift straight up and across our body. So we're lifting it up, across our body, up and behind us. So up. So like pretend we have like a sandbag and we're taking it and we're throwing it behind our shoulder. And then we're grabbing it from the from up here and then we're throwing it behind us. So taking it, stand back from behind us, taking it and throwing it over our shoulder and then taking it from up here and then throwing it through. So we're going to stay on the same side. Slowly control. We're going to go two rounds each side. we got five seconds. Get ready. Core is engaged. Start on the outside. Bring it up. And then take it from the top and then throw it behind us. Just back and forth. Keep going straight arms. Stop bending the knees or the uh, elbows. Really reaching through, using those side obliques. Then we'll alternate sides. Breathe. So we're taking that sandbag from up and we're throwing it behind us. We're taking it from behind us and we're throwing it up and over. So use that momentum. Three, two, one. Switch. I like the kneeling lunge because you can also get that stretch in your hip flexors here. So if you want to lean forward just a smidge, get an added stretch. So we'll start to lay the outside. Here we go. Three, two, one. Take it. Throw it. Up. Through. And breathe. Working on those side obliques. A lot of times when we work out, we only focus on some of the major muscle areas. You know, six pack abs. You know, squats. Chest press. You got to add in those extra muscle groups. Create that muscle balance. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Last one up and over. Nice. Switch sides. Breathe. You need to come up, walk around a sec, take a break. Five seconds. We got everybody's favorite next. Here we go. Outside, up and over. Bring it through and then down. Take your time. Take a break if you need it. Really stretch through. Feel those side obliques working. Keep that core engaged. Breathe. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Nice switch. Last one. Get through your nose, out through your mouth. Hopefully it's a nice day today. You guys can get out there, get some vitamin D, get some sunshine, go walk in nature, de-stress. Here we go. Outside, up and over. You catch yourselves from your phones or your electronics or the TV. Shut it off. Power down. Get outside, do some trail hikes, do some running, some bike rides. 20 seconds. Fifteen. I just saw that Arizona's gonna start heating up. I have family from Arizona. It's already getting in the hundreds. So we're grateful for our weather, right? Three, two, one, nice. Woo. The way out to the side. Everybody's favorite, planks. So, planks, we have options. You know, you can either do a, 
a forearm plank or a straight arm plank either on your knees or up. So pick your poison. If you're going to be on your knees, you want to grab something to pat them. You want to keep whatever you're using, your, your hands or your elbows underneath your shoulders. And you're pressing the mat away from you. You're not just holding yourself up. So you're pressing, keeping those arms active, pressing that mat away. So you want to walk those knees back, engage the core. And you're here. Or you're here. Or you're here. Or you're here. So pick your poison. I think the forearm planks for me are harder. So I like to do my forearms, I like to interlace my fingers, I like to squeeze my palms together, engaging the core, squeezing the glutes, keeping those legs active. So far, those muscles and the legs active. We're gonna go three rounds, we got this. We're gonna build a nice strong core, protect that lower back, and improve our posture. So you have five seconds. Find your poison. Here we go. Three, two, one. Engage that core. Elbows underneath the shoulders. Pressing that mat away, shoulders down and back, core's engaged, squeezing those glutes, interlacing the fingers, squeezing the palms together. Keeping a straight line, head to tail, flat back. I know, lots to remember. That's what I'm here to remind you. Smile. Breathe. We got this. We're here for a reason. 20 seconds. Happy place. Anytime we need to come down, take a break. You can take a break in child's pose. 10 seconds. Breathe. Hit through your nose, out through your mouth. Find a nice steady rhythm. Squeeze. Breathe. Three, two, one. You want to come down to the mat. Stack your hands. Place your forehead on your hands. Bend your knees. You want to wipe your side to side. 10 seconds. Five. Here we go. Come up. Twerk. Flat back. Core's engaged. Smile. We got this. What's your most favorite exercise you love to hate? 20 seconds, you got this, come on. Breathe. Everybody loves the burpees and the planks. 15 seconds. Go to your happy place. 10 seconds, we got this. It's only temporary. Five, three, two, one. Come on down. Woo. One more. 10 seconds. Here we go, you ready? Three, two, one, go, drop. Check it in, flat back, butts down, core's engaged, squeezing those palms together if you're a forearm plank. Squeezing those glutes, keeping those legs active. Pressing that mat away from you, it's not holding you up. You're pushing that ground away. You're that strong, come on. Breathe, 20 seconds. It's the last one. Be the last plank you do today. Let's finish strong. 15 seconds. Happy place. Where are you at? On the beach? Watching the dolphins jumping? Sea turtles? Waves are crashing in. You smell the ocean. Smell the suntan lotion. Three seconds. Two. One. Woo. Come on up. Shake it out. Take your time. Not all the way up. So next exercise is bird dog. So we're going to stay in tabletop. I'm going to have a quick drink. Off. So bird dogs, we're right tabletop. Again, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, flat back. Again, we're pressing that ground away, keeping those arms active. And we're gonna extend our right arm and left leg at the same time, keeping that flat back. So, and then down, and an alternating size. If extending opposite ends is too much, then you do one at a time. Again, press the neck ground away, arm all the way up, parallel to the ground, and then go through all four, and then back down. If you want a little extra, right arm, left leg out, bring it in, knee to elbow, and then back out, and alternate sides. Go three rounds. You guys got this. I can tell. Five seconds, get ready. Get through your nose, out through your mouth. Three, two, one, here we go. Inhale, exhale. Slow control, keeping those shoulders square. We're not locking side to side. Again, do what you can. Challenge yourself. So when we're gonna get stronger. 
keeping that flat back, straight line head to toe. You want to keep your gaze down. You don't want your neck cranking up. 10 seconds. Maintain that balance. Keeping that core engaged. Five seconds. Last one. Nice. Come down to child's pose. You got 15 seconds. Here, five seconds. Hands are at the shoulders, knees are at the hips, pressing that ground away. Here we go, let's work. Long control. Again, pressing that ground away, keeping that flat back. Keep those shoulders square, those hips square. We're not rocking back and forth, let's sway side to side. 15 seconds. Five. Three, two, one. Relax. Do one more. And we'll do some burpees. Just kidding. Okay, eight seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Working. Again, working on building that strong core, help protect that lower back, help improve posture, help that muscle imbalances. 20 seconds. You know, a lot of us suffer from the same ailments, you know, lower back pain. Hip issues, knee issues, a lot of that's contributed to muscle imbalances and poor posture. Inactive muscles, that's what we're doing here. Last one. Nice. Shake it out. Next. Ah, let's thread the needle. So we're going to stay in tabletop. We're going to take our right arm, rotate it up, thread the needle through. We're just going to rotate. Here we go. That's all we're doing. Feed the needle through, rotate it up. Nice mobility in the thoracic spine, upper chest. So rotate up, feed that needle through all the way, reach as far as you can, and rotate up. The last 15 seconds will come down. So feed it all the way through, come down to that shoulder, walk that hand out. Just stay here for the rest of our time. And breathe. Here, we're going to walk the hand back, press it into the ground, rotate it up, palm down, shake it out, and we'll switch, we'll do one on the other side, and then we'll get up. It's like to work on that chest opening, you know, again, a lot of us have to grab the shoulders, we want to open up that chest, strengthen those back muscles, here we go, palm it down, hands on the shoulders, rotate left arm up, feet the needle through, and rotate it up. Breathe. Work out that rotation, extension. 20 seconds. Feet all the way through. Come down to that shoulder. Walk that hand out. Get that arm out. You have 10 seconds. Just breathe. From here, we want to walk that hand back towards our face. Press it into the ground. Rotate up. Fall back down. Let's rotate a couple cat cows. So drop your head, lift your spine, and then from here, drop your belly, lift your head, rotate a couple back and forth. And breathe. From here, let's press it to the ground, downward dog. Pedal out. Pressing the palms. Get to the mat, away from us, dropping our chest to the ground. Pedaling out our feet, so drop from one heel. And a switch. From here, we're gonna walk our hands back. Slowly roll up. Head being lasting. Slowly roll up. Shake it out. Shake it out, grab a quick drink. Next. We're gonna grab some resistance, some weight. We're gonna do some shoulder press. 
knee up. So make sure you have good balance. You want to grab a chair. You can always stay on one side. We're going to alternate back and forth. We're going to go three rounds. So if you want to stay on one side, just balance it out. So hold on to the chair. But as we lift the, the weight, we're going to lift our knee up. And then back down. So again, if you have balance issues, hold on to the chair. Try not to use the chair if you don't need it. If you can, we're here. And then back down. We're going to alternate both sides. So I want to keep that core engaged. Try to keep those feet hip width apart. So in your standing leg, you want to make sure you shift that balance, that weight over. Nice strong standing leg. Engage that core, press it up, try to keep those arms nice and tight. Bring it down, slow and control. We're gonna go three rounds. Here we go. We're working. Look at hell. Nice hell. Shift it over. Maintain that balance. If adding resistance is too much, and then just you know, drop the weight, and you still lift the hand up, keeping that core engaged. Dropping it down. Find something that challenges you. Slow and controlled. Shake it out. So twice more. Run out of time here. Time flies, right? Five seconds. Engage the core, feet hip with the far, soft bend the knees, waves are up. Here we go. Inhale up. Exhale down. Find a focal point to stare at. Something you can burn a hole through with your gaze. You know, make sure it's not moving. You know, something on the floor, something on the wall, something that's fixed that you can stare at to help improve your balance. If you're really good, close your eyes. Safely. If you can. Don't fall. Please. Whoa. Shake it out. It's tough. Last one. Shake it out one more. And we'll get into some stretching. Five seconds. Here we go. Last one. Straight up, straight down. Pretend you're in a tight hallway. You're gonna keep those arms in nice and tight. If your balance is off, and you use the resistance, maybe drop the resistance down. Use something lighter. You're working that balance first. Bring that core engage. Good breathing. Last one. Nice, drop the weight off. Play some floor space. Do some stretching. Shake it out. Some arm flaps. Butt kicks. Just bring that heart rate down a little bit. Control our breathing. You guys see my head? This whole time. I think it's moved a little bit. Better. So arm flaps, butt kicks. From here, it's gonna open up a little wider. Control the width. It's gonna drop down, touch the ground. We're gonna walk it over to one side. We're gonna reach. Rotate open. Breathe. Palm down, hands to center, walk your feet back, down or dog, pedal out. Let's drop our left heel, look at your left arm. Switch. Pedal out. If you can. Uh, Three-legged dog, left leg up, 
Feed it through. High lunge. If the high lunge is too much, you can drop down to a kneeling lunge. And from here, elbow in. For the knee that's out, elbow in, rotate open. And then in for five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. All the way up. All the way down. Now we drop that knee. Lift up. You want to get that stretch in the hip flexors. So you want to lean forward, arm up and over. And breathe. From here, arm down, rotate over the knee that's up. So use your knee as an anchor. Rotate open. Back to center, kick our leg out. Reach over. Here, keep your leg back, tabletop, downward dog, three legged dog, right leg up, feed it through, high lunge, double in, rotate open for five, four, three, two, last one, double in, all the way open, and then down, drop your knee down, find that stretch, lean forward. Your hip flexor, arm up and over. And lean forward a little bit. And breathe, and smile, we're almost done. Drop your arm down, rotate over that knee, so use that knee as an anchor. Looking behind us. Breathe. Back to center, kick our leg out, reach over, stretch. Here, kick our leg back, tabletop, press up, downward dog, walk your hands back, slowly roll up, shake it out, some arm flaps. From here, we want to bring our hands behind us, interlace the fingers, squeeze the shoulder blades together, open up that chest, squeeze those shoulder blades, and breathe. You drop your hands, you can look up, you can hinge forward. Find what feels good for you. Release, shake it out. Bring one arm over. One more time. Hope you guys enjoy the class. Hope you guys are taking care of yourselves. Taking care of your neighbors, family, friends. Switch. Loved ones, relatives, your pets. Everybody's going through tough times. Do what we can. Check it out. Let's go up down the back. Keep moving. Keep exercising. Do what you can. Switch. Last one. Breathe. Don't forget to breathe. I know it sounds so basic, but we do it all the time. Here, shake it out, hands together. Thank you for joining me Saturday morning, 7.30, low impact strength, core and stability. Again, my name is Thomas. This is Brooks Yoga Dance and Fitness. Um, we're here in my studio, right down the hallway from Rachel's studio. Um, very grateful to be here to have this class for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if there's any suggestions, comments, feedback, please let me know why I'm open. That's the only way I'm gonna get better. Um, if there's other classes you guys want to see, something a little more, you know, high impact, some uh, high intensity interval training, if you want to see a strength and cardio, if you want to see something different, you know, maybe a beginning weight uh, series or, you know, a moderate, advanced, more, um, more options are out there. Let me know and we'll, uh, we'll make it happen for you guys. You know, we got to stay patient during these tough times. We don't know how long we're going to be here in this kind of situation. So we want to provide you guys, you know, the best opportunities to, to move and exercise and to be and stay healthy and fit. So again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys had a nice class. Enjoy your weekend, and we'll see you next time. Bye.